Is there a problem, competitor? I would like to ask about these layers. Should the possibility of overlap be considered? How should an overlap be displayed? Okay, let me see. This is a problem regarding the question itself. Right. Look over here, competitor. Do you have any further questions? No. You must resolve this problem on your own. Okay. Because this was a personal problem, you will not be given extra time as compensation. Understood. Now we will begin evaluating the mobile app development and web API modules. S5, Oil Well Prospecting App. We will first open Competitor 1's project and deploy it. After deployment, we will then evaluate whether the storage and verification of newly added well data functions correctly. We will use four test data sets to perform evaluation. Please create a new oil well. This oil well has a total of four layers. Please input the test data in order. Can it create the correct icon based on the oil well name and data from the four layers that were just inputted? Yes. Yes? Okay. We will now perform further evaluation. Let's input a second oil well. As before, it will have four layers. The first thing we want to evaluate is if it checks for repeated layer names. It does. Okay, no issues here. The second thing we want to evaluate is if it checks for overlap between layer depths. It does. We will then evaluate if it checks for when a layer's maximum depth exceeds the oil well's depth. It does. Okay, we will now send out the data and see if it can display the correct oil well depth and each layer's data. That is all information pertaining to each layer. Please evaluate. It displays the correct data. Okay, no issues here. This was completed by the competitor without any faults. Full marks are to be given. Please finalize and record the marks for each relevant sub-criterion. We will now evaluate competitor 2. We will first add a new set of oil well data and see if that can be done correctly. The add oil well data button is unresponsive. Therefore, all subsequent functions cannot be evaluated. No marks are to be given for the relevant sub-criteria in this module. The mark will be finalized and recorded. And now to evaluate if it can correctly edit existing oil well data. Please evaluate. The Edit Oil Well Data button is unresponsive. Oil well data cannot be edited. Therefore, none of the relevant sub-criteria can be evaluated. Zero marks are to be given. Now to evaluate whether Competitor 3's newly added oil well data, storage and verification functions work correctly. Please confirm if oil well data can be inputted. Said data should include oil well name, the extraction depth of natural gas or oil, and the oil well volume. None of the data can be edited or inputted. Okay, no barks will be given for this part. Now to evaluate whether it can add layer data, which should include layer type, from depth, and to depth, please evaluate. New layers cannot be created. None of the marks pertaining to relevant sub-criteria are to be given. The mark will be finalized and recorded. Moving on to competitor four. Do the storage and verification of newly added oil well data function correctly? Please evaluate whether it can add new layer data. Let's create a few layers to evaluate this. The add layer function is unresponsive, but the data was successfully sent out. Okay, it seems the data is being stored, but marks are to be deducted for the lack of feedback. The mark will be finalized and recorded. We will now begin evaluating the data editing function. Once layer data is added, can it be selected and edited? 
there is no response when deleting layers. Okay, since it is impossible to edit data, no marks can be given. The mark will be finalized and recorded. Moving on to competitor 5 storage and verification of newly added oil well data. Please confirm if new layer data can be added. Please input the test data provided one by one to begin evaluating. Layer Depths Overlap Okay, for every case of overlap in layer depth, deduct 0.2 marks. There is no verification of oil well name or extraction depth of natural gas or oil for each layer either. As above, deduct 0.2 marks for every case. The mark will be finalized and recorded. Now we begin evaluating whether it checks for repeated layer names in oil wells. It does not check for repeated layer names. Because it does not, deduct 0.2 marks for each area between each repeated layer. The mark will be finalized and recorded. And now to evaluate whether all inputted data is being validated after being sent out. Please evaluate. The data was not successfully stored. Okay, there are problems with reading and writing data. 0.5 marks are to be deducted. Next, we continue with competitor one to see if their oil well layer data controls and graphic representations are correct. Please evaluate each data control and see whether the necessary controls are provided and positioned correctly. Necessary controls are provided and positioned correctly. Okay, next we will see if selected oil wells are depicted correctly with layers in their corresponding positions. The graphic representation should have layers ordered correctly and with layer labels correctly displayed and vertically centered on the corresponding layer. The graphic representation should also include layer depth. Furthermore, the oil gas layer should be at the bottom and below, the total oil well capacity should be displayed. Lastly, the layers should be color coded correctly. Please evaluate all of the above. All correct, okay? No issues here regarding the controls, colors, and text labels. Full marks. Please record the marks for each relevant sub-criterion. We move on to competitor two. Once oil well data is inputted, is the corresponding graphic representation correct? Please evaluate. The layer labels are not centered. Okay, are the depths correctly positioned? They are. Okay, deduct 0.2 marks for each case where the text labels are not centered. The mark will be finalized and recorded. We will continue with competitor three. Once oil well data is inputted, is the corresponding graphic representation correct? Please evaluate. The total oil well capacity is not displayed. Okay, deduct 0.2 marks for both not displaying total oil well capacity and not displaying its units at the bottom. The mark will be finalized and recorded. Next, we have competitor four. Once oil well data is inputted, is the corresponding graphic representation correct? Please evaluate. The oil gas layer is not displayed. Okay, since the bottommost layer is not the oil gas layer, deduct 0.2 marks. The mark will be finalized and recorded. Moving on to competitor five. Once oil well data is inputted, is the corresponding graphic representation correct? Please evaluate. Layer colors are incorrect. Okay, for each case where layer color is incorrect, deduct 0.2 marks. The mark will be finalized and recorded. We come back to competitor one. Does the offline mode of their oil well management app function as expected? We will first switch to airplane mode to go offline. Does it indicate that we are now offline? It does. Okay, when in offline mode, it shouldn't be able to add new oil wells. Please confirm this. New oil wells cannot be added. Oil wells cannot be edited either. New oil wells cannot be edited. Okay, there seems to be no issues here. It should only be able to browse through oil well data now. We will go online to see if an indication that we are online appears and if the app now functions normally. It does function normally now. Okay, now press add layer and see if it brings us to the corresponding interface. It does. 
OK, there are no issues with the app's offline and online modes. Everything is in order. Two marks are to be given. The mark will be finalized and recorded. Next, we have Competitor 2. Does the offline mode of their oil well management app function as expected? We will enter airplane mode to test the offline mode functionalities. Can new oil wells be added? No. OK, no issues here. Can oil wells be edited? The editing interface can be accessed. Deduct one mark for this error. Furthermore, is the last time the app synced with the server displayed? Yes, and it is correct. OK, no issues here. Deduct just one mark in total. The mark will be finalized and recorded. Next, we have Competitor 3. Does the offline mode of their oil well management app function as expected? Please evaluate. When entering airplane mode to test the app's offline mode, does it indicate that we are offline? No. OK, next we will assess if it is still possible to add or edit oil wells. It is not possible to add or edit oil wells. OK, now we will switch to online mode. Does it indicate that we are now online? No. Does it display the last time it synced with the server? No, it does not display the last time it synced with the server. OK, for lacking online and offline indicators, deduct one mark. And for not displaying the last time it synced with the server, deduct 0.2 marks. The mark will be finalized and recorded. Next, we have Competitor 5. Does the offline mode of their oil well management app function as expected? Please evaluate. We will enter airplane mode to go offline. Does the app display an offline indicator within five seconds of going offline? No indication that we are offline appears. OK, then we will move on to see if it is possible to add or edit oil wells. Pressing Add Layer causes the app to malfunction. OK, it appears all offline mode functionalities are incorrect. Two marks will be deducted. A total of zero marks are to be given. 